What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to disavow crappy backlinks that start pointing at your website in any moment in time. So here's one of the websites that I'm overseeing. It's called myergonomicchair.com. It's an affiliate type of website. And uh, if you look at the Ahrefs profile here within the backlinks report, you can see that there's this massive increase in referring domains which started around 3rd of January 2021, actually. So a long time ago, and then just kind of skyrocketed all the way from 200 different domains all the way to 1,155 and even more domains. So obviously, most of these domains are pretty crap. So we want to disavow those in order to make sure that we are not getting in trouble with crappy backlinks. That most of which, most of which Google is actually able to tell, but our goal is to eliminate them all. So what you do is this, you go to the dashboard and it's really important that you got your website under the project here. Yeah, so you got to the dashboard and then you click this link, disavowed links. And what it does then, it opens up this, in, uh, this tab where what you do next, and this is really, really funny because it's not that clear. You have to click this error, right? You click on it and then you hit backlinks and that it opens up this report where you can actually be able to tick these uh, backlinks individually. Okay. So in my case, I look back at the overview. I'm seeing that these domains started kind of pouring in from the, uh, 23rd of December 2020 and there are different ways you can do it you can organize these by DR and you can catch a lot of crap that way so you obviously want the lowest uh, the lowest DR websites first or you can run them by date and um, so just give you the example first so as you can see DR zero and there's a ton of blog spots so obviously I want to get rid of that and one thing you want to make sure is that it's showing one link per domain as well Okay, or you can go by first scene and it will give you backlinks which came in uh, latest. But in this case, I would actually need to scroll down pretty um, far back. Yeah, so back to the uh, 2020 to see what I got. And I actually have to scroll through these many pages. Yeah, because you can only get 100 results on the page. So it doesn't matter how you do it, but let's stick to the DR option first. And um, so the lowest DR uh, domains. So, and then I just start with this um, disavow and file creation. So uh, basically I want to select, like I'm pretty sure that none of these backlinks, they're all DR zero. Yeah, so all I do is that I tag them all. And then once I do that, I'm going to click disavow domains because I'm sure that this these domains are on the whole pretty bad and I just want to make sure I'm not getting um, any penalties um, related to these domains. You can also disavow URLs but then it will only apply to this specific URL meaning that the backlink from this specific URL uh, will not be valid in the eyes of Google. However, if they create a different URL and placed another backlink from it, it will be um, Google can potentially take it into account. So I recommend disavowing on the domain level. So once you hit that button, it will take a bit of a time to load and um, it will create this um, special list of uh, backlinks. So obviously you want to go through the whole thing and disavow all the crappy ones. So I suggest looking at the DR, the lower the DR, uh, obviously the more chances the domain um, is pretty bad. I also look at traffic, but in this case, it's actually the, I believe it's a referral, yeah. Uh, the, the referring pages estimated monthly organic traffic. So this is not the traffic, the, not the organic traffic value of the given website. It's actually the amount of traffic this page is supposedly passing on to this page. Yeah, so in this case, I wouldn't really look into this. So DR is what you need. Uh, once you got all these, like, you know, you can click on it and um, it will take some time to load. So I'm, I'm not going to kind of follow, follow it with this video, but when it loads, you kind of go back to this page and you can see I've already got 2,465 disavowed backlinks. And all I need to do then is click export. And then it's asking you whether I want to save it as text for upload to Google disavow tool, which I click yes to, and then click okay. Once you got it, you will get this 
text file with all the domains that you have disavowed in this specific example. And then all you need to do is then go to Google and search for GSC, which stands for Google Search Console Disavow. And then you pick not the first link, at least in, in my case, but you actually scroll all the way down to the third position, the Disavow Links tool. You, once you click it, you will get to this um, search console thing and obviously it's telling you that this is an advanced feature and should only be used with caution and it's just giving you all the reasons why you shouldn't be using it so all you need to do now is pick the entity in this case it's um, like this website that I was overseeing and then you're going to click the upload button I've got different buttons here um, so you have this upload button you click it you pick the text file you had downloaded from Ahrefs then you upload it, click save, and that's pretty much it. In my case, I've already had like these domains disavowed before, and I believe it's the same, almost the same amount, 2,465. So that's from the last disavow that I had, and I got almost the same number of domains here. So what I want to do now is I want to actually download this list, yeah, and then add all the new, newly dis disavowed um, backlinks from from this fresh disavowal kind of session, you know. Once I have them added, I'm going to re-upload the original, the adjusted original list back to Google Search Console and basically just replace it, yeah. And that is pretty much it. That's how you do the disavowal. A bit of a um, description here. So in this case, I've got everything is fine. So I'm seeing this disavowal tool available but sometimes if you've got your domain verified on the property level and you will actually see it tagged as domain uh, property it will not show you this avowal tool in this case all you need to do is click add new property once you click this drop down menu i'm not going to show it now because i've got other properties that i don't want to sh show in this specific video but you're going to click on this arrow arrow and you will see uh, there's this add new property and then it will give you option domain property or prefix property okay you pick the prefix and all you need to do is then type in your property with https in front yeah so it's not on the domain level but it's https once you do that you click add whatever the confirmation button is and this will automatically give it um it will kind of auto prove itself automatically and then all you need to do now is click on this error arrow again and then um, pick this prefix property you will see it with https in in place and then you pick it and then you will see this disavow tool available for you i hope this video has been helpful you should definitely you know monitor these referring domains influxes typically they happen in waves and waves can typically last for a number of weeks if not months so you should be occasionally going back and dis um, disavowing backlinks as you see them uh, pouring in that is very important to keep an eye on it doesn't happen too often but as you can see here it started december 2020 went for a good few months actually so you just see how important it would have been to like the uh, to have this website being monitored so um uh, you know watch out for these backlinks crappy backlinks and keep disavowing them disavowing them using the method i've just shown if you need some help with link building reach out to me let's talk see how we can help you uh, create more backlinks and attract more organic traffic